Buongiorno, I'm Mama Margaret, here to give you a tip on how to enjoy your cooking school tour in Italy to the max. Mama Margaret and her friends takes food lovers to Italy to cook, eat, drink, laugh, and really get to know local people so you feel part of their lives. Let me set the scene for you. There you are in Italy looking out over vineyards and hazelnut trees, about to sit down and enjoy dinner with new and old friends. First, you eat two appetizers, like a spinach flan with fondue cheese sauce. Oh, so delicate. Then onto the pasta. Beautiful, homemade, fresh agnolotti stuffed with meat, and vegetables, melted butter on top with fresh sage leaves, oh, all washed down with a white crisp wine. At the end you think, oh, what a wonderful meal that was. Until, oh no, the veal simmered in fresh herbs, bathed in a rich red wine gravy arrives with sweet roasted peppers. I thought we were finished. I'm full now. But you are a food lover. That's one reason you joined this wonderful cooking and wine tour in Italy to taste all the special dishes this region has to offer you. Somehow you find the space for the veal and the sweet peppers and also the baked pears with chocolate sauce. At the end, you think, oh, what a gastronomic adventure that was. Until later. Oh, my stomach feels like it's holding a cement block. Oh. Why didn't anybody tell me all these plates were coming? Mm. Here's my tip. If your tour host or your guide doesn't tell you a list of all the plates in your meal before you eat the meal, ask for it. That way you'll know what's coming. You'll pace yourself through your meal. You'll eat just a bit of the appetizers and a bit of the pasta or risotto, a bit of the meat and vegetables, and a bit of the dessert. At the end of your meal, your stomach will feel, ah. If you're a food lover and you want to go to Italy to cook, eat, drink, laugh with local people who really make you feel part of your lives, who you really connect with, visit our website, italycookingschools.com. In the meantime, buon viaggio!